the objective is what I, what a lot of people should know is what you what you can see is uh, reflex training. Excuse me. The objective is to snatch a full leaf off of the tree. It's cool to do right now, especially when it's fall. But if you got a tree that, that you pick, that you uh, sing a lot for training, it'd be cool too. But it's a reflex training, a training that's going to get you used to the movement and all that good stuff, you know. And the thing about when it comes to blocking, you see a lot of people parry, uh, move out the way, move out the way or whatnot, but you don't see a lot of them blocking, you know what I mean? You know, by the time you parry something, you're still not in the uh, the correct range to, op to open up for your attack. That's where blocking comes in effective at. And you know, when it comes to uh, blocking, you gotta have real tight reflexes because you're right, that's close quarters. You're right in the, the attack zone of your opponent. <clears throat> but block, what blocking will do is it'll keep you there in time enough to them to, to work your move. But yeah, like I said, the training that, I, uh, that I'm demonstrating right now is an all natural training. It's a reflex training. You can implement other other uh, tactics while doing this, or you can just, one at a time, you don't have to do what I was just doing, but it would help your uh, reflexes and uh, make sure that you always stay moving and uh, practicing consistent uh, footwork and movement and all that good stuff. You know what I mean? You got a tree out there in the yard, you know what I'm saying, just snatch you. I mean, you know, it just, it just the fact that you grabbing a leaf and pulling from it, you know, is a score, but we really want to pull a whole leaf from the the, the tree. You might pull uh, some soft stems off that, that, that might have uh, a multitude of leaves out there, you know, I will, you know, saying different, but you know, you always want to keep in mind that you're training for your reflexes and then your ability to snap back or get back into uh you know your your regular stance and prepare for another attack uh, it's leaf training with sean marley we'll continue a couple more times after then i got some business to handle today oh just to clear up some shit, man uh <laughs> you know uh the, the, the all famous YouTuber for Street Beefs. I'm gonna say his name, Chris Wilmore. Bro, you, 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 you know what I'm saying? You could have been a man and just hit my inbox. Let me, uh, let me know how we can work this shit in. I don't know your ropes. You know what I mean? You're not just gonna call shots and sound like a big dog. It's easy to throw that, that, that part out there. Oh, I'll pay for your, uh, flight and all that good stuff right now. Is it, we done done that, man. Come on, man. That's street shit. We done done that shit plenty of times around here to got them call up. And then it's not technically calling the motherfucker bluff. It, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's technically, it's technically calling a person out. You know what I'm saying? Uh, at a moment that they could possibly not be ready for, whether it's life, I mean, life things like uh, family and children, you know what I'm saying? Uh, job opportunities, uh, or, or just any other various um, excuses. Excuses and excuses is a reason why that you weren't able to show. But my thing is, oh, I'm most definitely willing to fight, and I'm not just bumping my gums. I guarantee you I'll knock you out, boy. You too old, you know what I'm saying? Not to pick on you by age, but just to just to fuck with you about it. You know what I'm saying? You ain't fucking with me, kid. You know what I mean? Like I said, since you feel so shot, uh, so hurt about it, how about you come down here in Georgia, set set up camp? I got a man. Me and my people got a bunch of land where you where you can have a whole show out here. Get you a million more, get you a million more views. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? I can come out there, but I guarantee you it won't be on your time. It won't it, it won't be on your time where it makes it sense like you called the shots just because you a big time YouTuber. Nah, man, forget all that. If you're going to send the guy, and my thing is, I would have came. You know what I'm saying? I was waiting on you to hit my inbox with the information. But we would have had to negotiate on time, the time on which I would have came, but it wouldn't have been that time that you just stated. You know what I mean? And it ain't running from nothing. They gotta run from shit. But if you feel like I'm running, how about you come down here, big boy? Whatever your homeboy name, Walsh, what, I don't know. 
I don't know his goddamn name, but he can come get this shit too. Ain't nothing but love though, but I'm just saying like, hey, it's the joy of boxing. You know what I'm saying? You can call me Sean Marley, the Shade Tree Boxer. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I'm an, I'm an underdog. You feel me? You give me an opportunity, and I guarantee you I'll show you what the fuck going on. But like I said, man, y'all, I ain't here to interrupt y'all with that. Uh, guys, like I said, uh, ladies, guys, whatever, uh, this is a leaf training. And this is what I got going on for the moment. Kind of shifty because you 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 going off terrain. You know I got I got a rough terrain right here, so I have to uh, cal uh, calibrate my footwork according to the terrain. But like I said, it's natural training, guys. Hopefully somebody picked up on it. It ain't nothing new, just something I'm doing.